All right, and this is it. Video number three, and this is the one that basically has all the toys in it. Now, there is a lot of Happy Mail related toys, some things that are not as easy to get a hold of, so I made sure I got them. One thing is the Diamond Release Elvira. Now, I'm not a big Funko Pop person when we first started it with that. I kind of backed off. Still thundering here, so I'm shooting the video on the same time I did the other two. But I do have the two new figures that I have of Elvira. And, of course, this goes right along with it. Um, I'd seen this not long ago for a lot more money than what I paid for it, so as an end result, I said yes to the dress. Um, now, also seen this beauty. Now, this is the classic TV Batmobile with Batman. It is part of the little metal series they have, so it's got the metal figure. And if you look, they actually did the animated ones, the Justice League, Batmobile, Batman one from the movie, and Batmobile from, and Batman from sort of the Batman 89 series. Um, I love this one. And I'd like to get a hold of that one. I couldn't remember if I originally had had it. So that was really cool. Um, both those two were great. Love both of them. Now, what I'm about to show you is a hodgepodge of stuff. Some are their vintage McDonald's Happy Meal related. If you are not a... Oh! Thunder's getting worse. If you are not a Happy Meal fan or, or a toy fan at all, it won't be as much for you as it is for me. Uh, I have no idea where the red pig comes from, but he definitely does. Um, I don't know, I'll have to look at my daughter and ask her that question. Uh, now, <laughs> I apologize, I'm over here playing with this one. Uh, well, first I'm going to show it to you how. Okay. If you remember, the Warner Brothers and their Warner sister died, the Animaniacs, they broke out of the tower one day. Uh, this is them breaking out of the tower. It goes down and shuts up, so it's actually the Warner Brothers tower before they broke out. So, pretty neat there. Let me see if I can find... I'm trying to make sure I stick to... That. Here we go. And they, they seem to have stayed to the same theme of extending. If you look, that's the little thing is kind of wobbly. But what it does is go up and extend out. She's on the skateboard. So, I thought that one was... Let's see if I can get... I apologize. This is the first I've been digging in these. Alright. I think that's it for that bag with those. And then I have the... Switching cars that actually has the different characters doing soapbox races. I don't know if you've ever seen those. But what they do is if you take, you can flip this one up. And now you've got that little character as the driver. There is, I think this was Looney Tunes because of, there's the little Daffy Duck one that was in there. 
trying to remember. And then there's the Babs Bunny one that comes along. Let's see. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is part of that, but it kind of looks like it. But he has the little popping ball thing that goes with it. So I think he is part of that. Minnie. I cannot tell you where she is from. But she may come from one of those sets. She may have been something they threw in. Um, Tasmanian Devil. You can tell the little thing turns as he drives. I apologize. We'll move the Batmobile up so we can shift back a little. So again... These are more of the style and time period in which I want. It is more like the 90s and stuff like that. This seems to be the Happy Meal one for Cabbage Patch. And I know the night, but I cannot remember where he's from. Now, these all come back together, and basically they were a couple of bucks. So, to me, I was like, eh, you know what? There's some of my need for my Happy Meal collection. And there's some Happy Meal stuff I'll be getting rid of, but all of these were part of some of the stuff I'm trying to get. He keeps coming up as like, you know... Pocahontas or something, but he's not. I can't remember which one it is. It, I think it's Pocahontas, but I'd have to see right there. See if you can read it. From my side, it's kind of iffy. It's from Burger King. That's when they did it. So again, it was a set from Burger King. And I do all of them. Anything like Burger King, KFC, um, even some of the ones that don't exist down here in Florida. If I can get my hands on the toys from them during a certain period of time, I will. Now, second bag. Again, I apologize. I wasn't, didn't have the bags open. I didn't realize how bad they were going to have the tape on them. looking at the tomato she pops open or an apple I'm trying to figure out what she is now that one I'll have to do a little research to determine is she from a different set not a happy meal like this is this looks like that's the old uh, monkey that kept Telling the Lion King. And again, this is a bendable of one of the Animaniacs. And sadly, his ears have been kind of clipped at the top. Again, these bags are a couple bucks each. And there's Elmira that I know of from that same other set you've seen. And if you look on the other side, there's the Bugs Bunny equivalent with his carrot number one race car. So there is still some Happy Meal coming into it. Now this kind of looks like a get-along game. Again, I'll... But I gotta, I can't be sure, so again... Sometimes I like buying these hodgepodge ones because sometimes you get characters that just you never thought you'd get. Like I would not go out of my way to find the Cabbage Patch ones, but I will take those and maybe put them for my daughter if she likes them. And then here is the little Babs Bunny with the little records turning inside her music race car. So pretty cool. Again. That was all one bag. And again, 
I gotta get my list together to look at all my when like some are just toys but then when they are actual Happy Meal, Burger King, Jack in the Box, things like that I'll I need to actually pick up the book they have for toys related that way. Now right, just a couple more bags here. They did seal them pretty well, so all right. And this one again, as you can see. Woo! Look at that. See when you push it down roll forward at you. <laughs> <That's> pretty, <cool. laughs> pretty cool looking. He's all jacked up. Don't know where he's out of, but I think that is part of the Back to the Future one uh, when they did the cartoon from McDonald's. Because here's Marty on his hoverboard. And that is one of uh, Doc Brown's kids. Because again, and I just was putting together my card set for that today. For Back to the Future 2. And here is... Let's see. Doc Brown hanging out the car. This again, all three come from that set. And of course... I'm trying to figure out. Yep, this is Back to the Future. This is the train. And that must be Einstein. Whoa, watch the wheels. That make you get dizzy. But that comes out of it. All four of these are from the Back to the Future. Now, I have yet to get a hold of any of those, so that is great. That will put me where I'll be able to put those together and put them on display anytime I want to with my cards. I love that trilogy. It's one of the best. Even today, I say that because it is one of the few that actually followed through and kind of told the story and made me feel like by the end, it was worth it. And the animated series come along and just kind of continued it. Um, I think they can ruin it if they try to redo it or do anything else with it. Since Michael J. Fox now is unable to do a lot of that, I say leave it alone. Now, these are Archie ones. There's Moose. Now, I've seen these range anywhere between 2 to $5 a piece. I looked them up one time trying to get a hold of them. Archie on the back, and that would be Betty. Again, they're all on a ride. You know, I, I wish they would have done, like, the regular one. There was the Archie's as kids. That's what this is based out of. Here's Reggie. Archie. And again, with as many Archie comics and stuff I have, these will make a neat little setup with all of these. Uh, Veronica, excuse me, move, move over just a little bit. And the last, but not least, and even though there was more characters, this is our Jughead. And again, if you look, Jughead's got his pieces up. He's piecing you out. Um, it's got the logo on the back from it. And again, it is a McDonald's. You can see the logo on the front. But it's from 1987, which is when they actually did the uh, cartoon. But this is a set that I kind of wanted real bad that I kept seeing because being an RG fan, and I've watched many incarcerations of RG. Archie over and over again. Uh, thought it'd be worth it. Now, listen. I hope everything is in here because this bag was kind of open. But, I have only one of these. Originally is what I had. Um, 
I'm not sure if the uh, like this is the girl from the Mighty Ducks. That's the mask one. And then this is the kind of tough. I think I got the big guy, which would be one of the ones I'd be missing. Uh, so I'm not sure. And then this is actually Duke. He is in the wrapper still. So and again, as you see. So that might actually, since I think I got the big guy, um, remember watching the Mighty Ducks? Again, I've always been a cartoon fan, so if that would be it, that would complete. And these were like little hockey pucks with them stuck on it, but it had the little you know, wheels so that it would, you know, move around as you hit it. It would move a lot easier than just, you know, slap sticking it around for no reason. Two bags left, my friends. Two bags. Now again, some of these are random, but I've seen certain things. I was like, that's worth it. And again, they wanted dollars for some of this stuff. You know, sometimes it'd be two dollars, sometimes it'd be three. So to me, it was worth trying to see. Like, again... This is a Marvel character right here. This is from... I'm trying to remember what it was at the time. But again, to me, it's worth grabbing that for these, because again, there's Storm. And again, I may have that storm for stuff, but I figured I might as well go ahead and grab it for it. Um, now, if you look, got Aladdin. I'll let you look at him. Aladdin. Again, I got to check all of these and see where they're out of because some of them may not come from Toys like this, Princess, again, I gotta determine which ones are actually from it. Some of them may be just uh, different figures or toppers or stuff, you never know. Again, I, I love kind of odd, random little figures and stuff, so... And then we have, I don't know about you, but now this one's creepy. Um, see the rock? You say, oh, who's behind the rock? Look. I'm thinking it's Sean Smith trying to peek up from the rock. <laughs> it's like a claw. It's a finger puppet in which you... Really, my figure won't fit up in, but you're supposed to sit there like you're behind the rock. That's got to be, I swear that would have to be a happy moment. Yeah, it's a Burger King Kids Club one. So some of them might have come from that. Because, like I said, I think that's where Skippy comes from, is he comes from that series. Um... And so does that guy. And so does her. Again. Now this one comes out of a different series. Now, what's supposed to happen as you put her forward, she starts spinning in her storm. Hence the name. Any chance to get Storm in a figure is pretty cool. So, again, with her hair going all crazy. Another tiny Pocahontas figure. I must go with that one behind her there with the 
one. Now these I always look for. This is the Spider-Man Happy Meal toys when the show is a big deal. Uh, we're going to do Storm twice. Take that one back right about there. You girls hang out together there. And here is our bird from the Pocahontas series. And this looks like a hair clip, potentially, for the fairy godmother. Now, here's Chief Six-Pack Abs, um, if you look at him. You let me know, because he eats wild game, runs around, swings a spear all the time. Yeah, that's why he looks the way he does with six-pack abs. That's all I'm telling you. The Cinderella. One of the seven doors. And I believe this is the puzzle pieces that would go together to form the whole line. And last but not least... And I keep thinking these are from the Starcom. They're Magnalock ones that were theirs. Don't quote me on it, but I do believe that because they're made smaller. And I remember having some of those at one time. Now, I wasn't a kid, but I believe I ended up getting my hands on some of those at one time. And they were actually from... Starcom, if you remember the cartoon, it lasted for about 13 episodes. It was a good cartoon. It was done well. Um, all right, we got our last little bag in which we're going to dig into and then and then we will actually be done with all the toys. And that will be everything I've gotten. All right. Now, this one's a very small bag, but again, I've seen a couple things in here, too, that told me to grab the bag. Because uh, these come out of 85. They are, look like they're in pretty good shape, and they are... My McDonald's Hot Wheel ones. If you take a look, good old Ronald in there. I am a McDonald's collector, so that is Ronald. This is the Big Mac. He is in a police car. And again, to have him in hot wheel form like this in a way is pretty cool. This is Grimace in his drag racing McDonald's car. He almost looks like there should have been more stickers to it, but I'm not sure. I'd have to... There is a fast food toy reviews show that I watched, uh... I watch and a, uh, I apologize to the other guy. There's another fast food one I follow. They both show toys like this from everything from, like I said, Jack in the Box to Happy Mills to everything. Um, and that's where sometime I might find out about something. I've even thought about sending some of it to them if I can figure it out. There's the hamburger. Looks like he's got a little bit of damage on his car. And a little like Willis. Um, and here is Birdie. Again, she would be phased in as everybody else was phased out. Like Mayor McCheese and all of those because they were kind of stolen from the Croft people and a Hamburglar. 
So, what did you think? Pretty good? Not? What did you like best? What toys were were something you'd be interested in? Did you know they even made these for the Happy Meal? Did you even care? Um, did you know about this Batmobile? Or the Elvira? Or any of the other Happy Meal or Bizarre different toys in which I showed you? All right, so that's all three videos, and I'll be uploading all three of them today. Uh, so if you look, you'll probably see the one before this one and the one before this one. I appreciate you watching everything you do, all the thumbs up, the comments, everything. Till later, guys. God bless America.